think about solar, you think of it on commercial buildings, uh, residential buildings, capturing that free sun energy. Now it's moving into trucks. The costs have come down, the performance has been improved, solar panels can be put on the entire trailer, and that's a huge area for these solar panels, but can also be put on the tractor, reducing hotel loads. When your truck is turned off, it powers your air conditioning and your lights and outlets. Uh, it's got storage capacity between the frame where the batteries are. And it's also got another set of batteries up underneath the seat. It's a great idea. Yeah, I'm impressed with that. We are running Odysseys as far as hotel load, start, and APU, all charged throughout the day, such as a beautiful sunshiny day like today by a solar panel which is mounted to the roof cap. I've experimented with a little bit. I've turned the APU on. I've left it on for 12 continuous hours. Let it run after that even a little bit longer. And we had a little skepticism whether the truck would start afterwards. The truck started aggressively. Very happy with that product. We hear quite often from fleets that dead batteries is a real problem and going out and charging the batteries and starting up the truck can be a huge expense. These trucks have a lot of electronics on them and even when they're off, they're pulling some power. So we're seeing the improvements in solar components um, really help the introduction on trucks. One of the challenges is the curved surfaces that we see on the top of sleeper cabs. And we're seeing now that those solar panels are much more able to be a successful and durable piece for the life of the tractor. These battery HVACs are becoming very popular and extra charging capacity that we can get from the solar panels helps keep that trucker uh, sleeping comfortably, uh, maybe during the day on a hot day to get a comfortable sleep so he can be a safe driver. Sitting here at the dock in the hot sun, having solar power to keep my batteries charged and have the air conditioning inside the cab works out very nice since the addition of the e-now system to my truck it's um, quite a contrast to the other trucks that are sitting here in the hot sun with their trucks idling away and not managing to save fuel while they're sitting at the dock it's quite an advantage to use the sun itself to actually keep you cool